Howdy! All right, so tonight I'm working on a project for my motorcycle. So that's this guy right here. This is a uh, Yamaha XT350. Um, and as you can see, this is a dual sport motorcycle. Um, it's from 1989, pretty much as basic as you can get. Single cylinder, single exhaust, single spark plug, um, carbureted, real no frills. Doesn't even have a starter, it's kickstart only. Uh, but it's great at what it does. It's light, it hops around, it moves just fine. But what I really need on this thing is some luggage. Let me show you what I got. Okay, so here is the motorcycle, my 1989 Yamaha XT350. And it has a couple of upgrades. It's got LED lights on it. It's got an extended fender in back. And the most important upgrade that this thing has is this rack. This rack was custom built by the guy I bought it from. And it is sturdy. This thing, this I could hold the whole bike up by this rack. Um, and I love it. It's really great for strapping stuff on. But it doesn't have any luggage. Um, the guy who built it had luggage that he he put on there. But he moved them to his new motorcycle. So I didn't get it. But what he left me was this great bracket here. With four solid points. He even told me what kind of boxes he used. So I went and bought the same ones. The downside was, I'm pretty sure he just bolted them on. And if I'm putting big bulky boxes on my motorcycle, I want to be able to take them off. So after racking my brain a little bit, I figured out a system and I'm going to show you how I do it. So here we go. Okay, so here is what I'm going to use as the luggage on my bike. Um, it's a Pelican style case. It's actually a Seahorse brand. I, I believe the model is a 720S. Um, I chose this because this is the actual um, case that the previous owner had on there. So I knew it would fit and it should work all right. I saw pictures of how it looked. It looked pretty good. But I, I had to come up with a different mounting method. So what I have for my mounting method is right here. This is a small TV bracket meant for hanging a flat screen TV on a wall. So it has a quick slide off, slide on type thing. And I was... Originally thinking I was going to get one really big one, the whole thing could slide on. Um, <clears throat> and I may have ordered these without actually reading the dimensions. Um, but I discovered that I could use two of these and it would work actually a little bit better. Um, I just need to do a little bit of modification to these before I can mount them to the box and to the bike. So I'm going to do this modification real quick. Okay, so here are my two brackets couple things I need to do before anything else. First of all is I actually don't need the really wide part of this. I only need the, the base so I'm just gonna do that. And there's just four screws on each of these so this should come right off. That's the part I'm gonna use. This I, I'll save for later. Maybe I'll use it for something. There we go. Now the next part is this. And these are the ones that are going to be sticking to the boxes themselves. Um, so the connector, or the sorry, the fasteners I got for these are quarter 28 stainless steel. Um, but these holes are just slightly underneath a quarter inch. So I'm going to just ream those out just a hair up to a quarter inch. Just a normal drill bit works fine. It's mild steel, so this should be fairly easy. That being said. Whenever you say something should be easy, it never is, so watch me make a fool of myself on camera. Yeah. There we go. And I don't think I even made a fool of myself too much yet. That's the important thing, yet. I always have the opportunity. Now to switch over to the motorcycle and get things ready for that side. Okay, this part is just pretty straightforward. I just need to figure out where I'm going to put these mounts. So I know I want them to sit right at the top of here and center as much as I can on there. And the other thing is to remember to put these the right way. Since the box will be sliding onto them, it needs to be able to stay so they're gonna be that way. Which I think is opposite of how it originally is, but that's how I'm gonna do it. So. Start by the front one, and these should both be the same, more or less, but they're not always. So, 
and put an F on the Sharpie for front. I'm going to hold that in place where I want it, center it as much as I can, and just use a Sharpie and draw the circle. So there's my front one and my rear. There's my circle for the rear. And they're almost in the same place, which is good considering I think they should be. Now I just need to drill out these holes. Okay, back to the bench here. And this should be pretty straightforward again. I need to keep saying, quit saying things like that. So now, now I'm using a 5.16 bit size. This is gonna be a little bit trickier than the ones earlier because I'm piloting a hole. Um, but I think it'll work all right still. A little bit, pull down there. Yeah. Once again, caught a nice little burr on the back, but it's drilled through. Grab my clamp here. So I'll just uh, clean those up and then I should be able to bolt them right on and we'll go into our next step. So here are our two pieces. There's the back one, our rear. It's gonna sit like that. Pretty simple task here. I have one bolt that's gonna go through, nylock nut on the back. So I removed most of the burrs, but obviously there was something a little, that made it a little difficult to get it in there. So let's go all the way through. Start the nut by hand. Nylocks are very tough to move by hand. So after the initial fit, you can't really do too much. You gotta ratchet. All right, blocked it with my head for a second, but I got those two looking pretty straight there. Here are my plates, and uh, these guys have a couple pieces of industrial strength double side tape. I always keep this stuff around. It'll hold anything on. I once attached a camera to my last motorcycle and did 80 with this tape and it worked fine. So um, I use this tape all the time. Probably more than I need to, but it works well. Now if I could just get the backing off. What? My two pieces of tape. I'm gonna go grab my case. So, there's the case. And I'm just going to set it where I want it to sit and press it firmly in. We are. Come on. Centered, even. Now hopefully they're attached. Slide them up, and there we are. Now I know where to drill. Okay, so I have them both taped down, and they're a little high centered, of course, because there's tape in the middle, but these are gonna be my templates. Pretty straightforward, here's that same 
uh, quarter inch bit I used earlier. And this is why I pre-drilled them, because I'm just going to drill straight through this. Plastic easy to go through. That's keeping it in place. That way I make sure it stays somewhere. All right, with that last one, I should be able to pull it off. As for this double stick tape, it does work really well on most surfaces. Um, this type of plastic, nothing really adheres to all that well. And um, cold metal things tend to come off. So, like I said, I've used it to hold a camera on my motorcycle. I swear by the stuff. So there we are. Nice fit there. Okay, I'm gonna do this one now. Now one thing I need to do is, it's not exactly center and I'm fine with that, but I do need to get my Dremel and I need to cut away just a little bit there. So, I'm gonna take my Sharpie and mark it. Okay. Okay, I just got a little sanding drum on here. Shouldn't be too hard. Not the prettiest job, but I'm not going to be looking at this side of the case very much. So, let's do a test fit. One, two, three, four. Nice and flat. Excellent. Now to open it up and uh, actually fasten everything together. All right, so inside of the case here, and I have fender washers. Big, fat, wide washers there that are going to fit over everything. But the first thing that I'm noticing here is that there's two holes they're not going to fit over. There's little nubs right next to them. No chance. Um, I thought I might be able to just cut down the washer. It's not even going to work. But I'm fine with having just a nut on those spots. So I'll just stick with fender washers on everything else except for those two. When it comes to fender washers, the wider the better. You're spreading the load. If I had uh, money and would really wanted a splurge, I would have big plates cut out and drilled custom. That way it spread the load even more. But like I said before, I'm cheap and I'm broke, so I try to be frugal as much as I can. So I'm gonna start these. These are quarter 28 nylocks in stainless. Normally I don't even bother with a fine thread. I usually use quarter 20, but uh, the hardware store was out of those, so this is what I got. Doesn't hurt anything. All right, all eight screws are in there. Now, if I really wanted to make sure this stayed really waterproof, I'd put a little bit of sealant in all these holes. Um, I think it's gonna be all right, but if it proves not to be, I'll let you know. So. I'm cheating a little and using an impact driver. Saved myself a lot of time. I actually had a little trouble here. A couple of the uh, bolts I got, I think something was bad with these threads. Um, they got stuck part way on, and when I went to remove them, I actually just sheared them straight off. So, 
I'm actually down two of the uh, bolts on one of the sides, but I could still size everything up, make sure it fits. In the morning, when the hardware store reopens, I'll go pick up a couple more and finish this project off. Okay, so I actually had three break off, which is inconvenient and annoying, but I have a stash of bolts inside, so I'm uh, just going to use those. These aren't nylock nuts, so I'm using blue Loctite on there to make sure they don't wiggle loose through vibration. But because they're not nylocks, they'll actually be easier to put on. Now I have all eight screws in. Everything's nice and secure. Now let's bring it over to the bike and try it out. Okay, so brackets are secure. The brackets are secure on there. Let's give it a test fit. Easy alignment. There we go. This thing is nice and solid. Actually, it's bouncing a little. I might put something to stand off on there. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see how that goes. It's actually locking it in when it's down, so. We'll see, but for now I'm going to call that good. One last step. Okay, so the very last task for the night. Since I know that these all fit now and everything is good, I don't have to mess with these at all. I'm going to take my Dremel with a cutoff wheel and I'm going to cut off any studs here. I don't want to destroy anything in my box, so we'll just uh, do that real quick. Okay, there we have it. I now have both of the boxes mounted on my bike here. Um, the one on the right actually fit a little bit better. It sits against the bottom bracket, um, so I don't need a standoff or anything. Um, I'm gonna ride with them just like they are now. If I discover that they are wanting to come up at all, I might put a bungee or something to strap it down. Right now it looks like they have a, a lot of friction holding them on, but with minimal effort I could still get it off. So that is going, that is my new setup. I hope you liked my video. If you did, please hit that like button. Please hit the subscribe button and let your friends know. Thank you very much.